Hey guys, I'm Isia, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be converting the Batania man Manor into uh, RF power. Uh, we're going to be making a, uh, what is it, a Manor Flux field? Manor Flux field, yeah, we're going to be making one of them. Um, but before we're going to do that, we're just going to have to change out our diluted mana pool. Um, in the first episode, I forgot to mention that it's probably best if we actually make two diluted mana pools because Generally, the next thing you would do after making a diluted mana pool uh, is turning it into essentially um, a, a bigger mana pool. Uh, so we're going to make a second one now. And what we do with this diluted mana pool is we essentially, as you can see, it's got a little uh, a tick box saying if we drop it in here, it's going to make whatever we want. So we're going to drop it in there. And what we get back is a mana pool, just a normal one. What we're going to do now is we're going to just uh, place that one down there. We're going to redirect our uh, mana spreader to the new one. And I'm going to... Okay, so it says it's accepting. So I'm going to drop this on there. Just to fill it up a little bit. Okay, so the mana uh, fox field. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. Uh, four living rock. Um, four box of redstone and one mana steel and to make mana steel um, you essentially just get one piece of iron ingot as you can see it's got a cross in there these dialed mana pools don't really hold that much hence that's why we're making the other one so we're going to see if it's, yep, it's good enough okay let's drop it in there and we get our mana steel back uh, I'm going to just suck the, the rest of the mana out of this one so we're going to go Shift right quick, and there we go. See, see how fast it drains out. There's not much in there, uh, and that should fill the rest there. So now we've got our mana steel. Let's go get some redstone. Jump over here. Uh, Sixty-four. That should be enough. Uh, do, do. We need four of these. I'm just gonna leave it in there. And we've got four living rocks, so yeah, that should be pretty much. Uh, I've already made one, but I'm making another one. Uh, living rock on the outside, I think that's what the rule was. And mana still there. There we go, mana flux field from Batania. Uh, so essentially how this is, we're getting daytime, that's good. Um, so basically what we do is, you place this down in the world. So let's say there. You then hook it up to an RF uh, accepting source. I thought I had a battery here, yeah, I've got a battery. Place it like there. As you can see, uh, from the UI it says zero RF tick. Now if we change the direction of this mana spreader to point at the flux field, uh, is it gonna give us something? Mind you, we're only looking at day bloom, so it's not really that much power. Are these generating that they are we're doing there we go there we go and then essentially uh, every single time a burst comes through it generates RF power and sends it on as you can see we haven't we've got that many uh, day blooms on this setup but we can just break this uh, and go to a bigger setup I've got over here just to give you an idea of uh, how much power we can essentially generate Where's my battery? Battery there. Alright, rid of there. Just jump up here just so I can place it down properly. There we go. All I have to do is rotate all these. So shift right click there. Oops. One on that one. I'm going to have to redirect this one because it's going to another object. There we go, it's more going that direction. This one isn't generating but it's pulling, so pull from that one and I wonder if we can rotate is it gonna hit? No, oh, it's good. And we're gonna change this one over to here. So we essentially got uh, all these uh spreaders, this one's obviously Losing some power because they've got that little sparkle. 
Don't need to worry. Let's turn on this machine. So we can start generating power from lava. Okay, there we go. Now it's generating, and now we can look at the machine. So we're basically hitting a minimum of 30 RF tick. It's going up to uh, spiking up to 100. It's pretty decent, mind you. This uh, this setup, while well, I consider it fairly big, uh, it's not as big as some setups I've seen. And obviously, you could probably get more characters. Oh, see, 200. That's fair. That's pretty good. Yeah, so that's it. There we go. That's how you essentially make a mana flux field, and also how you make a mana pool from the dialed mana pool. We can break this one now since it's useless. And uh, I think we'll be making the mana tablet next episode, and we'll be making something else next episode too. Um, until then, guys. Nah.